Hey, hey, what's up everybody? What's happening? Sorry for the messiness, but just kind of woke up. Um, kind of behind on scripture. Today's the 17th, and we read a little bit about, we read a little bit on Proverbs 14, and then I got interrupted. So I may reread that, and I may actually read 20 scriptures. Or twenty, yeah. I'm gonna read twenty scriptures, y'all. That's what I'm gonna do. No, four scriptures. Four scriptures. I'm gonna read. I'm gonna get caught up. And um, somebody asked me questions, which are really good questions. Let me give you these questions. They're really good. I may have to do two parter depending on how long this video ends up to be. Um. Let me see real quick. Um, like, okay, here are the questions. What type of cerebral palsy do you have? How do you, how do you deal with pain and muscle spasms? Do you have any experiences with CBD oil or baclofen? How do you deal with daily routine? Are you independent person and how old are you? Um, which is interesting because I don't know this person. But I guess they also have cerebral palsy. So these are really good questions, actually. Honestly, they're really good. I'm not a medical doctor. I do not have a medical degree or anything like that. So you always want to talk to your doctor first before... Um, using baclofen or anything like that. But I will answer those questions in a little bit. Um, this may be a two-parter because I have to read like three scriptures. 14, 15, 16. Yeah, four scriptures. So depending on how long the video is, I may do a two-parter. And the second part will be answering her questions. Yay! Let's get started. A wise woman woman builds her home, but a foolish woman tears it down with her own hands. Those who follow the right path fear the Lord. Those who take the wrong path despise him. A fool's proud talk becomes a rod and beats him, but the words of the wise keep them safe. Without oxen, a stable stays clean, but you need a strong ox for a large harvest. An honest witness does not lie. A false witness breathes lies. A mocker seeks wisdom and never finds it. But knowledge comes easily to those who with understanding. Stay away from fools, for you won't find the knowledge on their lips. The prudent understand where they are going. But fools deceive themselves. Fools make fun of guilt. But the godly acknowledge it and seek re reconciliation. Each heart knows its own bitterness, and no one else can fully share its joy. The house of the wicked will be destroyed, but the tent of the godly will flourish. There is a path before each person that seems right, but it ends in death. Laughter can seal a heavy heart, but when the laughter ends, the grief remains. Backsliders get what they deserve. Good people receive their reward. Only sim simpletons believe everything they're told. The prudent carefully consider their steps. The wise are cautious and avoid the danger. The fools plunge ahead with reckless confidence. Short-tempered people do foolish things. Schemer schemers are hated. Simpletons are clothed with foolishness. But the prudent are crowned with knowledge. Evil people will bow before good people. The wicked will bow at the gates of the godly. The poor are despised even by their neighbors, while the rich have many friends. It is sin. It is a sin to belittle one's neighbor. Blessed are those who help the poor. If you plan to do evil, you will be lost. If you plan to do good, you will receive unfailing love and faithfulness. Work brings profit, 
but mere talk bring, leads to poverty. Oh man. Sorry, I have not had coffee yet. It is brewing, and I think it is done. Anyways, wealth is a crown for the wise. The effort of fools yields only foolishness. A truthful witness saves lives, but a false witness is a traitor. Those who fear the Lord are secure. He will be a refuge for the children. Fear of the Lord is a life-giving fountain. It offers escape from the snares of death. I heard something. A growing population is a king's glory. A prince without subjects has nothing. People with understanding control their anger. A hot temper shows great foolishness. A peaceful heart leads to a healthy body. Jealousy is like cancer to the bones. Uh, those who oppose the poor insult their maker, but helping the poor honors him. The wicked are crushed by disaster, but the godly have a refuge when they die. Wisdom is enshrined in an understanding heart. Wisdom is not found among fools. Godliness makes a nation great, but sin is a disgrace to any people. A king rejoices in wise servants, but is angry with those who disgrace him. Y'all ready for this? This is the main key. This is what I think everybody has an issue with. You ready? A gentle answer deflects anger, but harsh words make tempers flare. The tongue of the wise makes knowledge appealing. But the mouth of a fool belches out foolishness. The Lord is watching everywhere, keeping his eye on both the evil and the good. Gentle words are a tree of life. A deceitful tongue crushes the spirit. Only a fool despises a parent's discipline. Whoever learns from correction is wise. There is treasure in the house of the godly, but the earnings of the wicked bring trouble. The lips of the wise give good advice. The heart of a fool has none to give. The Lord detests the saint sacrifice of the wicked, but he delights in the prayers of the upright. The Lord detests the way of the wicked, but, the, but he loves those who pursue godliness. Whoever abandons the right path will be, be severely disciplined. Whoever hates correction will die. Even death and destruction hold no secrets from the Lord. How much more does he know the human heart? Mockers hate to be corrected, so they stay away from the wise. A glad heart makes a happy face. A broken heart crushes the spirit. A wise person is hungry for knowledge, while the fool feeds on trash. For the dependent every day brings trouble. For the happy heart, life is a continual feast. Better to have a little with fear for the Lord than to have great treasure in the inner turmoil. There's, there's that statement. Fear of the Lord. I'm tired, guys. I really am tired. I'm tired. Um, I lost my spot. Hold on. Do, 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 do. Day brings trouble for the happy heart. Life is continued. Better to have little with fear for the Lord than to have great treasure and inner turmoil. A bowl of vegetables with someone you love is better than steak with someone you hate. A hot-tempered person starts fights. A cool-tempered person stops them. A lazy person's way is blocked with briars, but the path of, a, of the upright is an open highway. Sensible children bring joy to their father. Foolish children despise their mother. 
Foolishness brings joy to those who, with no sense. A sensible person stays on the right path. Plans go wrong for lack of advice. Many advisors bring success. Everyone enjoys a fitting reply. It is wonderful to say the right thing at the right time. We're almost done, guys. I promise. I promise. The path of life leads upward for the wise. They leave the grave behind. The Lord tears down the house of the proud, but he protects the property of widows. The Lord detests evil plans, but he delights in pure words. Greed a thing brings grief to the whole family, but those who hate bribes will live. The heart of the godly thinks carefully before speaking. The mouth of the wicked overflows with evil words. The Lord is far from the wicked, but he hears the prayers of the righteous. A cheerful look brings joy to the heart. Good news makes for good health. If you listen to construction, constructive criticism, you will be at home among the you will be at home among the wise if you reject a discipline you will only harm yourself but if you listen to correction you grow in understanding fear of the lord teaches wisdom humil humil i can't speak humility precedes honor we can make our own plans but the lord gives the right answer People may be pure in our, their own eyes, but the Lord examines their motives. Commit your actions to the Lord, and your plans will succeed. The Lord has made everything for his own purpose, even the wicked for a day of disaster. The Lord detests the proud. They will surely be punished. Unfailing love and faithfulness make atonement for sin. By fearing the Lord, people avoid evil. When people's lives please the Lord, even their enemies are at peace with them. Better to have little with godliness than with evil. When people's lives please the Lord, then their enemies are at peace with them. Better to have little with godliness than to be rich and dishonest. We can make our plans, but the Lord determines our steps. The king speaks with divine wisdom. He must never judge unfairly. The Lord demands accurate scales and balances. He sets the standards for fairness. A king detests wrong, wrongdoing, for his rule is built on justice. The king is pleased with words from righteous lips. He loves those who speak honestly. The anger of the king is deadly threat. The wise will try to appease it. When the king smiles, there is life. His favor refreshes like spring rain. How much better to get wisdom than gold and good judgment than silver? Um, we're not doing 18-9. The path of the virtuous leads away from evil. Whoever follows the path is safe. Pride goes before destruction and haughtiness before a fall. Better to live humbly with the poor than to share plunder with the proud. Those who listen to instruction will prosper. Those who trust the Lord will be joyful. The wise are known for their understanding and pleasant words are permissive. Are pers persuasive. Discretion is a life-giving foundation to those who pr process it, but discipline it wasted on fools. From a wise mind comes wise speech. The words of the wise are persuasive. Kind words are like honey, sweet to the soul and healthy for the body. There is path before each person that seems right, but it ends in death. It is good for work workers to have an appetite. An empty stomach drives them on. Scoundrels create trouble. Their words are a destructive blaze. A troublemaker plans the seeds of strife. Gossip separates the best of friends. That is true. 
Did not know that, but that is true. Violent people mislead their companions, leading them down a harmful path. With narrow eyes, people plot evil. With smirk, they plan their mischief. Gray hair is a crown of glory. It is gained by living a godly life. Listen, if you have gray hair, um, if you have gray hair, that means you have a lot of wisdom. What can I say? It says right here, don't be ashamed of your gray hair. Women, I don't understand. Why do you dye your hair? Why? Because you're beautiful either way. You don't need all this makeup and stuff like that. Yeah, we like to look pretty and stuff. But seriously, you're beautiful the way you are. That is, that is the truth. Okay, I'm not against the makeup. I do wear makeup. I do, you know, put my hair up and, you know, stuff like that. I do all that. I dress nice and everything. Okay, I'm not against it. But I'm, what I'm saying is, we're beautiful the way we are, right? And... You know, when I get gray hair, and I've had gray hairs, but when I when it's full of gray, yeah, I'm probably going to do the same. I'm probably going to dye my hair because, you know, I like my brown hair. I like it. Um, I can't imagine my hair being gray. But it's the mark of wisdom. It, it's the crown of glory, you know, and... I just, you know, I don't know. I just felt like I had to say something like, something about that. I lost my spot now, guys. Where, where was I at? Um. Do, 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 do. Gray hair is a crown of glory. It is gained by living a godly life. There we go. Better to be patient than powerful. Better to have self-control than to conquer a city. We may throw the dice, but the Lord determines how they fall. Okay, last scripture. Today's scripture. We're going to be all caught up. I am determined. I am determined we will be caught up. Okay, better a dry, crusty, and in peace than a house filled with festi feasting and conflict. A wise servant will rule over the mister's disgraceful son. And will share the inheritance of the master's children. Fire tests the purity of silver and gold. But the Lord tests the heart. Wrongdoers eagerly listen to gossip. Liars pay close attention to slander. Those who mock the poor insult their maker. Those who rejoice in the misfortune of others will be punished. Grandchildren. Listen to this grandparents. Listen up. Grandchildren are the crowning glory of the aged. You get that? Grandchildren are the crowning glory of the aged. If you are a grandparent, they should your grandchildren are should give you glory. That is what it says. If you don't believe me, get your Bible out right now. Look it up. Proverbs 17:6. Grandchildren are the crowning glory of the aged. Parents are the pride of their children. Listen up, parents. You are the pride of us. Okay? My parents are the pride of, of me and my siblings. Um, I don't know. But grandchildren are the crowning glory of the aged. Parents are the pride of their children. That's why grandchildren are more important than us, than children. We get set aside. Oh, you have a, you're going to have a baby. Oh, that's so sweet. I'm going to be a grandma. <laughs> and we get put aside. And, you know, all the things that we weren't supposed to do, the grandchildren get to do. I don't get it. I just don't understand it. Stop spoiling your grandchildren. My goodness. Stop it. It annoys us. Anyways, let's move on. Eloquent words are not fitting for a fool. Even less are lives fitting for a ruler. A bribe is like a lucky charm. Whoever gives one will prosper. Love prospers when a fault is forgiven. <laughs> Excuse me. Um, love prospers when a fault is forgiven. With dwelling 
on its separate close friends. A single rebuke does more for a person of understanding than a hundred lashes on the back of a fool. Evil people are eager for rebellion, but they will be severely punished. It is safer to meet a bear robbed of her cubs than to comfort a fool caught in foolishness. If you repay good from, with evil, evil will never leave your house. Starting a curl is like opening a floodgate, so stop being, so stop before a dispute breaks out. Acquitting the guilty and condemning the in, innocent, both are detestable to the Lord. It is senseless to pay to educate a fool, since he has no heart for learning. A friend is always loyal, and a brother is born to help in time of need. It is poor judgment. It's poor judgment to guarantee another person's debt or put up security for a friend. Anyone who loves to quarrel loves the sun. Anyone who trusts in high walls insults invites disaster. The crooked heart will not prosper. The lying tongue tumbles into trouble. It is painful to be the parent of a fool. There is no joy for the father of a rebel. A cheerful heart is good medicine, but a broken spirit saps a person's strength. The wicked take secret bribes to prevent the course of justice. Sensible people keep their eyes glued on wisdom, but a fool's eyes wander to the ends of the earth. Foolish children bring grief to their father and bitterness to the one who gave them birth. It is wrong to punish the godly for being good or to flog leaders for being honest. A truly wise person uses few words. A person with understanding is even tempered. Even fools are th thought wise when they keep silent. With their mouths shut, they seem intelligent. And that is 14 through 17, three verses. I'm never doing that again. I'm never doing that again. I will never spend moments of reading three scriptures to you guys. It's rewarding. I enjoy it. Don't get me wrong. But I'm just not going to do it again. So I'm going to end here. I'm going to go get a cup of coffee. And then I will be back to answer questions. Yay. So get yourself a cup of coffee. Sit down. Relax. And... Um, listen to some infinite wisdom that I may or may not have. Hopefully I can answer these questions. And, um, and, uh, I, uh, I promised this person I would answer all her questions that she may have. Yay, I'm so excited. Oh no. Um so yeah, I'm going to do that and I shall be back. <laughs>